Good morning, YouTube. I am sitting here outside. It is a gorgeous day here in North Carolina, minus the pollen. Um, but I wanted to share because I know I had a couple questions about my Hobonichi. And so I just wanted to share some of the like basic tools that I use and how I use my Hobonichi for those of you that might be new. Um, I also want to mention I do have animals around. So I've been playing fetch with Harley, our Dobie. Hopefully she will just chill because we've been playing fetch for a while. And then you will probably see Binks who is lounging on the table right now as I'm filming. And actually, now that I'm filming, he all of a sudden wants attention. He is literally like sniffing the phone right now. You wanna come say hi? Yeah, there he is. So you're gonna see, you're gonna see critters. Um, but we are a full week in April. So I wanna share kind of where my Hobonichi is at and how I use it. I use it different than anybody I know. Um, and it's just, the bottom line is you do what works for you. So where should I start? Um, I use the, we'll start from the beginning and I'm sorry about all the noises you're going to hear. The year at a glance, I used to track sick days, cycle days, out of town days, and wild sexy marriage days. So that's how I use that. Then I do use, I'm actually, actually pretty obsessed. Um, this hasn't worked in the past for me, but for whatever reason, it's working right now. And I use the index as a habit tracker. So I write different habits and I, I don't necessarily, I should have brought them, but I have the dot, the Zig clean color dot markers. Um, I love the way it looks, but I need the check marks. There's something about checking something off that I need. So I check everything off and then I go back with my dots and recheck, which I've actually see that I didn't check those. Um, yeah, so that's how I use the index. What I call this is, this is my study book. It's my planner. And my study book is kind of what I call it, which is basically, I mean, yeah, I used to think it was more of a like book of shadows, but I don't do like, I do write, as you'll see, I'll show a few of the pages for this month, um, recipes that I want to try, but normally it's not recipes that like recipes or prayer spells that I have done that have worked. Normally it's, Hey, I'm studying this topic. Let's spend some time here. Okay, so where were we? Monthlies. My monthlies are my please and thank yous. This is what April looks like. I take a Tombow, do hearts all the way down the side with things I manifested. I highlight the empty places for where I put either a please or a thank you. And it's exactly what it says it is. Now, I have been asked, who are you pleasing and thank youing? Um, to me, I, thanks. Um, I consider myself a witchy mystic. I have experienced the great other is kind of what I call um, the divine because I don't really have a name that fits any better than just other. There is something other that I have experienced very deeply, very personally. So to me, that is what my please and thank you letters are. That's who my please and thank you letters are to. So this can be, um, thank you for a new month full of clarity and vision. Thank you for connection in Pittsburgh and finding now that we actually found our new farmers for veggies because we get all of our milk, cheese, eggs, meat, yogurt, all of that from a farmer. So we don't buy any from the grocery store, but we've been lacking in finding a veggie farmer. And we did that on Friday, the fifth. Woohoo. I'm so excited to get connected there. So that was a big thank you. Um, some of the pleases, please help us have a great time this weekend. Um, and call my nerves, please bring grounding and clarity. So that just kind of gives you here. Here's a month 
there's a month already full fill like pulled out and then again you can see i here's another thing that's a, a kind of a tip manifested so march manifestations a friend of mine made me handmade runes which were amazing and she also gave me a book with them so i put those down like just kind of freebies that show up in your life fun happy mail showed up from ashley you guys remember ashley so inspiring um rebel softness treasures was born in march basically i had inspiring chats with my friend brie um found out that we have a healthy happy healthy baby number three and found the sex i'm not announcing that here yet because that's kayla's job to do um i had a super sweet date with my oldest granddaughter so i put that down um but anyway so sometimes because i already have the hearts written i so like here's april so i, I fill out the hearts and then i re like outline them in a marker and write what they were so so far for april uh we went out with our friends and they bought us drinks and then also bought us breakfast these friends owned the airbnb that we were staying at for this past weekend's event and it was just so great to get away with them but i might not fill all this in and then at the end of march at the end of april i'm gonna have to think okay i know i manifested more things this isn't just like um physical things, but it's what are the wins from April and having that practice of actually having to fill out every one of those hearts that I pre scripted. Like it's, it's just amazing. I love it. So that's how I use my monthlies. My weeklies is a planner. So here's last week. I outline, uh, let me show you this week actually. So make sure there's no secret things going up. Um, I always start with outlining the days of the week and then I outline specific days for specific things, um, which is kind of a private thing. So I can't really tell you why those are outlined, but, and it doesn't have to do with sexy stuff. Um, and then any events I actually highlight this way. So as you see here, um, specific chats I had, bliss boogie, like we were gone out of town. I'll, leave, I'll just flip this. Um, you can see anything. This is like, look here. This is where you're peopling is basically what that means to me. It is a way for me to look and go, Hey, there's great wolf lodge. It's a way for me to look at my schedule and say, okay, I'm peopling there. I'm peopling there. Like keep in mind, save your energy is kind of what those mean. Sometimes I do them like this, which now that I'm looking at that, I do kind of like that. Um, but yeah, so basically, you know, we have the monkeys sleeping over, the monkeys are getting picked up, and then we leave for another trip this weekend. Um, and then I just write in to-do lists. So let's see if I can find one that's already done, just so you can see. Yeah, so. Uh, this was a cigar wrapper from one of my hubby's cigars. You can see the peopling um, to-do list. I'll circle circle events. Oh, that was when I had a coffee date with my with my grandbaby, so I circled it. Started watching a new TV show called Resident Alien. Circled that. That was such a good show. Also, okay, so shows lately my favorites: Resident Alien and Apples Never Fall. If you have not looked up those TV shows, Resident Alien might take you a little bit to get into if you're not, like I'm not an alien person, but dude, that was a really good show. Um, I met with my daughter's best friend at Sonder Coffee to find out the gender of the baby. I mean, it was just, yeah. Okay, so that's how I use the weekly. That is my planner, the only planner I use. Then we get into the dailies and I, have marked April. Um, super thrilled that I discovered this idea. I used to like make my own tabs and I didn't for the beginning. Like there's no tabs for January, February, or March, but I decided to do April. And it was a old Brie from Document Journeys. Um, she does these like thank you notes with her postcard and sticker tier. 
And so I just added a sticker that says April to it. And that way, I and mean, look how cute those fishes are. So this begins my April. And what are you chewing on? I hear somebody chewing on something. Um, yeah, so basically these pages are things I've studied, things I've, like my thoughts. So to start, I just put OMG, hello, April. And I wrote a little note about what I envisioned for the month. I have a to-do list. I have a Cat Riles Oracle card because this month I'm in unknown territory with starting a little like side craft hustle thing. And so I put that there to document it. Um, what is this? Overthinker apparel. I just took notes from one of their videos. Notes from a chat with Bree. Um, sketching. This is actually my own. I put ideas from my own soul. Like what I thought about sketching. Because I knew I wanted a sketchbook. Um, picked Bree's brain about it. And I can't wait to share what sketchbooks I have picked to work in this year. Because I realized sketching very much was a meditation for me. And even though... I don't sell stickers and I'm not an artist and all of that. I just, I missed it. So this is like my own um, notes and ideas I want to try. Ideas I want to try. This sticker came from out of town. Oh no, this was actually from the soap bar. Yes, the soap bar. I went to the soap bar with my daughter and found this. This is Consider the Wildflowers. Um, then we have, just so you can get an idea, this is bug out bags. My husband is wanting to put together um, a bug out bag. And so I told him I would research it. And so I did a bunch of notes. And then this is going to be where I put my actual thoughts on what I want to include in a 72 hour bug out bag. Um, castor oil. It says castor oil and more. There's a chick on Instagram called, did I put the name here? Melly Sanford, you guys, if you're interested in the benefits of castor oil, I am literally about to place an order after taking all these notes. Let me just, let me just tell you, this is all from her Instagram, Melly Sanford. Castor oil for sleep, castor oil as a pain assist, castor oil for age spots, castor oil for your face, castor oil for varicose veins, castor oil for an exfoliant, um, now this, oh yeah, she does do a squeeze of castor oil in her toner. She talks about medical tape for wrinkles, DIY rose water that also includes castor oil, um, and hair that also includes a teeny bit of castor oil. She is like a castor oil queen, and so I just took a bunch of notes on that. So that's what my monthly looks like. And already, like, what day is today? Today, when I'm filming this is Monday the 8th, and I'm on April the 10th. I don't do it specifically for the day. You will see I prep watercolor pages. I prep the month with just splatters. It's just my preference. Um, but this is everything that I studied or was interested in for that month. So there is another flip through. I think I did a flip through here that I can try to link down below. Um, last year, normally, normally I do a morning mindset. I didn't do that yet for April. Interesting. I can't believe I didn't do that. I did it for January and f I think I did it January, February and March where I put what I wrote about in my journal, my morning mindset pages. Um, cause this is like how I describe this is my kids may not want to read all my ramblings from my journal, my ramblings and ventings on nothing. This is their mother's brain. So what I wore, how I felt. So in January, I literally took notes on what I wore and I gave it a, a number from one to 10, um, and how I felt. And then I wrote the favorites. So, I mean, it's, it's messy. Let's just randomly flip to something. Um, all these post-its were book ideas, multi-passionate person here. Um, book ideas. Here I did a end of the year tarot tag by Chanel Days. This is in January. The deck used the most the past year. 
deck you didn't use in all, at all, most recent addition to your collection, deck you rehomed. And I just did it in here. I didn't do a YouTube video about it, but I wanted to document that. Um, all right, let's go to February. What are some things? Oh, I have a packing list. Sarah Sutton did a, this is an old series, but a whole series on outlining all seven books in her Fenton series, I think. Um, I have notes on, all kinds of notes on books. Publish and Thrive, I decided to leap and take that course. I've been taking notes on that. Um, yeah, I mean, and I don't usually do stickers. Sometimes I'll do like, I mean, Cat Riles, I put her cards in here. Sometimes I'll tear out from a magazine, but yeah. So my main tools are, and I will say, this is not the Jane Davenport. I need to put a sticker over that actually. That's a good idea. Do I have a sticker? I don't think I do. I have, this is my pin case. I have a document journey pin, and this is a from Anna pin. I'm obsessed with Aladdin, and this is like one of my favorite art pieces from her. Um... What do I have in here? Stickers? No. And here I have Cat Riles like samples from different watercolors that she sent a while ago with Patreon. I have post-it notes. So my favorite things to use are watercolors, which is what you see a lot of the like that's a sketching that was done in watercolor and then retraced with this Tombow pen. Um, but in here, I've combined a bunch of different pans. So this was the Jane Davenport Bright. And then I love how this, I love that it's metal. I love that you've got the extra little thing for mixing and so I just combined a few of Jane Davenport's uh, paints and then sweet friend Brie sent me some samples of different watercolors. So I've filled different pans. So I've got like a full pan here of random watercolors. And so I'm just enjoying playing. So I use that a lot in my Hobonichi fountain pens. My two current fountain pens I'm using in the Hobonichi are, this is my favorite fountain pen ever. This is the Pilot I'm going to forget the name of it. The Pilot E95S. Is that what it is? I think it's the Pilot E95S. Favorite, pound, found, favorite fountain pen ever. Ever. I'll say it again. Favorite fountain pen ever. I also have this Pilot Prera, which is great. It does, this one does kind of like take me a minute sometimes to get going but it's this one's super cheap this one's not i mean compared to what some people pay for fountain pen it's not cheap compared to what some people pay for fountain pens it's cheap but to me this is like the one of the most expensive this and my um decimo are the most expensive fountain pens i own um but this is this is the winner. So I use these two random different colors. Love me a good Uniball. Um, this is the Uni Jetstream Multi that the Hobonichi pens are. Like it's waterproof. So I do love to use this. These, these stay in my Hobonichi. I get two pens on each side. Watercolors. I also use a water brush. Um, glue stick. What else is in here? Honestly, I don't glue a whole lot because I just use post-it notes. I mean, I guess I do glue the cards and stuff and I use this. This is my favorite glue stick of all time. Permanent glue stick. I buy them in bulk. Well, never. I mean, I mean, I would if there was something better, but I haven't found it. Um, anyhow, so that's how I use my Hobonichi. Hope you guys found this inspiring. Yeah, so I, I move front to back, back to front in. So let's see, let's look at, should I complete? Yeah, so in March, there were two pages that weren't used because in the back I have the wrap up and April ideas and then Bliss Boogie packing. February, let's look at February. 
because I don't care if I have empty pages. So I got through till 26, February 26. And again, this is not day by day. And again, I have March ideas. This is literally just, and that was my little intro to March. Um, I just scribble down whatever I'm studying. And I've got it in one place. So I've got all my recipes that I'm going to try using castor oil this month. Um, and my kids will have that. And I will go back. I will go back. I wish I could had my other year here because there were some that I would like cross and say did not work for me. And I love that. So it's basically kind of like a book of shadows. Um, but yeah. Okay. I'm done rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to know what you would like to see more from me. Like, are there any specific videos you want to see? Are you, yeah. What are you interested in? What journals are you using? Maybe that would be a good video to do like a little journal stack. Yeah. Anyway, give me all your ideas. I am here, even if I'm not regular <laughs> with specific day posting. As you guys know, I'm a multi-passionate person who is literally just flying by the seat of my pants. And that's just how I like to live. Okay, until next time, enjoy your wild, sexy lives.